Uh, yes, it was always my intention to uh, to try to play with the reader's expectations. Um, you know, as I said with the previous answer, I think we 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 write what we want to read. Um, I've been a writer a long, long time, but even before I was a writer, I was a voracious reader. I still am a voracious reader. I get sent many, many books for possible blurbs or endorsements. Virtually every fantasy that's published in English seems to find its way to my door before publication. And of course, I still read myself constantly with, uh, when I travel with a full Kindle. Um, books I buy at airports, uh, I can hardly go into a bookstore without emerging with a book or two. So I read a lot, and what I want as a reader is books that surprise and delight me. Uh, there's nothing that bores me more quickly than a predictable book. Uh, you've all read them, I'm sure, the, the sort of book where you read the first couple chapters and you know everything that's going to happen. You might not know all the details, but you know the broad outlines of the story, and the rest of it is sort of just going through the dance. Uh, I seldom finish such books. Uh, I I want to be, I want to not know what's going to happen. I want to turn the page with an increasing fever to line out what what's happening next. To my mind, that is the essence of storytelling. Um, so one of my goals as a writer has been always to make my books unpredictable and to keep the reader turning those pages and eager to find out what happens next.